A scooter scare in Norfolk. Police are investigating a hit and run after a woman riding a scooter says an SUV hit her this weekend. Yeah, she is expected to recover. Ten in your size, Tamara Scott, is looking into the scooter safety concerns. That's right. Well, if you've been anywhere near downtown Norfolk or Virginia Beach in the last few weeks, you've probably seen those bright mm -hmm. green scooters. Well, they do have some rules, but just looking around, not everyone follows them. While it's fun for some, it's concerning for others. It's helpful, you know, getting around. Is it the future of transportation? Instead of walking, you get on one of these things, pop it down there in no time. Jimmy Brown says riding a lime scooter around downtown Norfolk is all he needs to get from one place to another. But is it safe? It looks like it's as easy as just kicking up the kickstand and pressing go. But there's a lot more to it before you can hit the road. Well, for one, you're required to wear a helmet. Jimmy and other riders don't. I don't know, I just. Nobody gonna walk around with a helmet, you know, for the most part. You're not supposed to block traffic. You have to be 18 years or older to ride. And on the website, it says it only gets up to 15 miles per hour. Well, how fast are you going? About 17 miles per hour. Now, while Jimmy is waiting to audition for the first Fast and Furious movie featuring scooters, not everyone is a fan. I don't think they're safe completely. Uh, I wish the city had taken a better look at it. Uh, some places are even calling the ban of those scooters. Just across the street from John James' home off Ballantyne Boulevard, a woman was involved in a hit and run on a lime scooter. She claims a gray SUV hit her and kept driving. The scooters are out there. Sometimes they cut in and out. I'm quite sure it's happened. Uh, and people on the sidewalks that, can't, that are walking and can't hear them coming up behind them. Jimmy and John don't agree on using them, but they do believe it's on everyone to be safe. Be a little bit more careful and do the drivers. Uh, you have to watch out at all times. Pay attention. I always think about, you know, what somebody else might do. Now, the woman involved in that accident is expected to be okay, but I'll tell you, I was on one of those things today, and it's not easy. It's a real machine. The best thing to do is always use your best judgment and look out for yours and other safety. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.